What's up, Cosmo family? I want to talk to y'all today about the polyamorous thing, the spiritual meaning behind polyamorous, and why every single soulful being is infinite universes. All soulful beings are each, they're, they're their own universes, man. Like, I'm my own universe, my Cosmo family, they're their own universes, right? So basically, right, let's get on this aspect. Let's say, for example, for me, right? Let's say I, you know, naturally connect with multiple women, right? I naturally connect with multiple women. It don't matter what universe number it is, right? All these different soulful women, they keep the cosmos balanced. They keep me balanced, right? Because you know the thing about the moons and the suns and stuff like that. The males are like the suns. The females are like the moons, right? So basically all suns keep the moons balanced all suns keep a female balance all moons aka females keep a male balance you know what i'm saying it makes perfect sense the society the slave owner empty vibrational matrix society of all these universes the matrix have programmed a lot of soulful beings to be like you know controlling each other on who we can talk to and who not to talk to and stuff like that like the thing is cosmic beings you know what i'm saying when we resonate with somebody that's on our or aka vibration you know what I'm saying we know things gonna work out because we're naturally connected to each other you know what i'm saying like me like if i'm connected with another cosmic female you know she not gonna trip if another cosmic female comes along to like help like balance us out you know what i'm saying and vice versa you know that's that's the truth right there you know because I could have one female that could probably, you know, bring the unimines. A second female that could bring the unihearts, the heart space. Then, you know, the third female could bring the unisouls and so beyond. You know what I'm saying? And like every single soulful being that connect to each other, you know, they're meant to just bring a lot of vibrant life into each other's life. You know what I'm saying? Because each single soulful being, which are different universes, when when different soulful beings clash together, you know what I'm saying? It's like bringing universe one, universe 21, universe 55 all together. That's why we have angel numbers. Angel numbers represent the polyamorous effect. You know what I'm saying? Makes perfect sense. You know, so... I'm telling you, man, like, you know, it's natural to be, you know, polyamorous because, like, it has a lot to do with the soul family effect. It has a lot to do with, you know, making each other, like, you know, better than they were last at a second ago. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like an emotional attraction thing. You know, this is like real deep right here. So it's like, man. When you think about this stuff, man, it really hits home. It really hits home, man. I gotta really play this back, man. I gotta play this back. Because this stuff, this topic is deep. This topic is deep. So, like, the polygamous effect, aka the angel number, multiverse, omniverse effect. See me? I'm a I'm a cosmoverse. The women on my social media are the cosmoverse. They're their own cosmoverses. So like when I connect with them, when I clash with them, you know what I'm saying? I let them all know that, you know what I'm saying? There's no such thing to need to be jealous, you know what I'm saying? Because like we are here to not control each other. You know what I'm saying? We are only here in the cosmos to like you know experience things together and grow together not control each other you know what i'm saying and the truth is like you know we don't we don't die we only crystallize you know what i'm saying so like since soulful beings are life energy forever and eternal you know what i'm saying there's no need to be you know controlling that other dude or controlling that other female on you know 
who can like come and connect you know what i'm saying because that jealousy has been taught by these demon remaining slave owners like it's freaking crazy you know what i'm saying so like you know it makes perfect sense like you know i love all of my cosmic cis stars that i naturally connect with you know what i'm saying and like you know it's just like a flowing river stream it's like flowing like a cybernetic network in a wi-fi box you know this stuff is like it's like an operating chakra system it's like tapping into an inner eight gates going beyond the eight gates for my naruto fans out there to know what the eight gates is so like man think about the folks that think about this man you guys out there think about the females that you're friends with that you have a natural connection with man you know that's a whole polyamorous effect you know what i'm saying because like you know all those girls keep you balanced to the females out there that have a lot of guys in in your whole social media right they all keep you balanced that is a polyamorous effect so i'm telling you man it's a lovely thing it's a beautiful thing you know what i'm saying because like i love it when you know males and females just compliment each other you know bigging each other up you know hyping each other up you know what i'm saying not like you know tearing each other down you know and like you know the polyamorous effect you know it helps every single soulful male every single soulful female to thrive to go beyond you know what i'm saying that's what it's meant to do you know because one sun is not supposed to just connect with one moon one moon is not supposed to connect with one sun do you get me do you comprehend this for your unimines your unihards and your unisouls right there it's gonna be a good replay value there you know what i'm saying but yeah man we could talk about this stuff all each and every day man this is a good topic right here